Hi, Damon here again for Automotive Superstore. This is Kenwood's DMX 9021S unit, one of their very premium range units. It's a little more expensive than the other units because of one key feature, that's its screen. Its native resolution is 720p, whereas the other unit's native resolution is only 480p. All of the units, including the lower ones, will still play back 1080p video files. This one will just look nicer doing so, and that's why it has a price premium on it. The other things you get in the box, you get the two fascia panels in this one, in case you've got the, the different size openings in your dash, steering wheel connection cable, GPS cable, your main loom that gives you power, earth trigger, and connection to your speakers, obviously, Bluetooth microphone so you can talk, two phone connections on this one, and that's a key thing that's a handy thing for tradies and maybe a reason alone to buy a Kenwood unit. Most Kenwood units are dual Bluetooth phone at the same time compatible, very unique feature on the market. And then there's that remote there, you lose under a seat and a glove box and it'll go with the car when the car gets sold in the future. Uh, the other thing on this is it comes with a USB-C connection on the rear, which is three, amp, three amps charging. Uh, it has an adapter inbuilt that you can connect an old style USB cable to for your phone or Android uh, device, your iPhone or Android device, uh, or you can just plug your latest USB-C cord straight into it. Inbuilt power for this one, 22 watts RMS by four to power your main speakers, or of course you've got front, rear, and subwoofer RCA preouts to feed to external amplifiers with nice strong five volt RMS of signal. So now we're gonna dive into the features on the inside. First things first, you can see that the DMX 9021S has the high resolution screen and a bunch of cool wallpapers that it's cycling through that really show off how much that screen is better than the units below. From here, you've got your selection to your sources, normal radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or accessing your telephone. Android Auto and CarPlay work very similarly. With CarPlay, you just swipe left and right to access the native applications you can access. With Android Auto, it's swipe up and down. Here, you get access to your Google Maps, Waze, Spotify. Now you don't have digital radio built into this unit, but you do have access to digital radio via apps from the iTunes store or from your Android store. In this screen here, it's things like access to your USB stick for music. And this is where you can access high-res FLAC music files that you can download online and that gives you much higher sound quality than you would get on Spotify or even downloaded from iTunes or even converted from your own CD collection. In here you've got control over your HDMI inputs and your AV inputs. Wireless mirroring can be accessed here too. Hit the gear set and go up to audio. Key to that is the crossover section. This is where you adjust high and low pass filters to control the correct frequencies and make sure they're going to the correct speakers. Your front and rear speakers, for example, your front speaker will need a high pass filter if you're using a subwoofer, as will your rears, and you can adjust the slope and the frequency for the fronts, rears, and the low pass filter frequency for the subwoofer all here. This is in two-way mode, so for example, a subwoofer and then full range front and full range rear speakers. This unit can also do what's called three-way setup, which means you have tweeters, mid-range speakers, and subwoofers and you can control the crossover splitting between the tweeter and the mid-range, and then the mid-range and the subwoofer. It's really one of the ways that you can unleash uh, better sound quality than normally is affordable through a unit that doesn't have this feature. So worth getting into and trying if you've not done it before. In the EQ, it's a 13 band graphic EQ. It, that's a, a, a great selection of bands. It's plenty to tune with. You don't need anything really more complex than that unless you're a sound quality guru and you've got access to a real-time analyzer. Position DTA, that means time correction. That is delaying all of the speakers that are closest to you to be the same distance from you as the one that's furthest. You can do that in milliseconds. If you've got a millisecond ruler, most people have a centimeter ruler. Volume offset's nice. That is where each of your different sources when you switch between them, they sometimes have wildly different amplitude levels and you switch from your music to radio and it's too loud. So you can adjust the relative levels of each of those so that when you switch between sources, it's a nice smooth transition in volume. Sound effect is an area where Kenwood's got their own proprietary DSP tuning. Supreme, what is that? 
only Kenwood knows, but it's a thing, you press it and it sounds different. You might like it, you might not. Uh, loudness is something everyone understands. That is uh, a boost of bass and treble for lower volume levels. Uh, and so you can use that if you like your music to be lower down, but still want it to sound dynamic with bass boost. That's handy if you don't have a subwoofer in the system and it makes your full range speakers sound a bit bassier. Just use it sparingly and only at moderate volume levels. You can set the different colored keys to match the different illumination on the dashboard of your car, which is very handy. And you can choose different custom uh, wallpapers, but this unit's got the really nice artsy ones. Maybe you can stay with those. The viewing angle is four if your car's got an angled dashboard and you're getting reflections from the sun, you can adjust that to make that as good as possible. So there you have it, Kenwood's DMX 9021S. In a nutshell, it's effectively the same as the 8521S, except you get that high-res screen. If you watch a lot of high-res videos in the car, that may be worth the investment to you. If not, maybe just stick with the 8521. Either way, they're both great units. Four camera inputs, dual Bluetooth for your phone, for tradies again, potentially essential. Packed full of great signal processing, great inputs and outputs. If you wanna check out any of Kenwood's other models, you can check our other reviews on the channel. Drop down, like and subscribe. Why not leave a comment and I will see you on the next one.